Duncan is palpable and you can understand why. Two high-level sides about to face each other and it's anyone's guess how this is going to end up. It's live on EA TV. And good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. I'm Derek Ray, and with me here on the commentary box is Stuart Robson. And what we have coming up for you is live action from the Zweite Bundesliga. It's St. Pauli, and they face Hamburg. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, hitting the opposition back, playing the ball forward, and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. He must finish! Oh, he saved it well. Over the touchline for a throw in. The lineup then for the hosts. Well, they're going to make themselves very hard to break down. In this formation, the only way you can play is on the back foot. Hopefully, they try to counter attack with pace and numbers. Otherwise, I can't see them scoring. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. Well, it came to nothing in the end. And here's a look at the starting 11 for Hamburg. Well, 5 4 1. It's certainly a defensive looking lineup. A back five with four midfield players sitting in front of them. I'm not sure where the goal threat's going to come from today. A chance to whip it in. Giving them a different option by moving in field. The referee's letting it go as they keep the ball. Hamburg unable to hold on to the ball. Running with the ball confidently. But well, on you go, says the referee. Advantage. And that will be a corner. And now that play has stopped, the referee can administer the booking. And he's fired over the corner. Well, the keeper had plenty to think about with bodies around him. A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw-in. Robert Glatzel. Might really be able to trouble them here. Good idea. Not away completely. Well, nothing untoward happened. Well, they have it again. Benesh. Can't miss, surely. Magnificent defending. An alert piece of defending. And the flag is up. Offside. Well, that's just a lack of awareness. He was clearly in an offside position. And a fine tackle. They're all doing their bit to keep them out. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half time here.
So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. Couldn't keep it. That's a good looking ball. Well, nothing for the players in the middle to work with. A chance to nudge in front. Corner kick here. They take it short. And making his move inside. Textbook defending inside the box. Chance to attack using width. That's a useful cross. And it's come off the keeper. And he's clear his lines. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Ritzka. Very quick thinking there. Well, there's a really stylish piece of running. But quick thinking defensively. Jackson Irwin. And nicely over the top. And in the right position to read it. The cross is on. Now the cut back. Foiling his opponent completely. And a vigorous effort, but denied by the woodwork. Well, from that sort of distance, it's a chance that should be taken. They will now make use of their substitutes bench. Race. Yatta. And a strong tackle. Yatta. Could be. Oh, a goal! There it is. And the crowd stunned into silence. Well, here it is again. And what a good build up this is. Quick, incisive passing, clever movement, and all done at pace, which led to a simple finish. That's a real joy to watch. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Metcalf. Giving it their all in search of an equaliser. Well, the power was there. Not really the placement, however. Goal kick. Well, they've decided to make a change. Five minutes to go. And he might be through here. They've only gone and grabbed another one. Two goals in quick succession. Now they have the lead. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, just look at his strength here. He holds off the challenge, he keeps his balance, and he finds the back of the net. It's a wonderful goal. And the ball is moving again. 2-0 is how it stands. Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have two extra minutes. Ah. 
And that is that. The referee blows his whistle for full time, and it's a victory for the visitors. Well, Derek, they were dominant in most aspects of the game, particularly in that midfield area, and they also look threatening in the top third of the pitch. It's a really good result for them. Well, there's a good reason why we're highlighting him. Really dominant in attack in this game, Stuart. Well, he was a major reason why they won today. He was so reliable, and he inspires those around him.